U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley surprised almost everybody in Washington yesterday by announcing her resignation. She can keep a secret, we've learned that. Ever since, there's been a lot of talk about who ought to replace her, and one of the names we've heard most is that of Dina Powell. She served as a White House advisor until the beginning of this year. Powell seems like a nice person, lots of people like her. Is she the right person for the job? That's the question. Well, she's worked on behalf of virtually every idea that President Trump ran against in his 2016 campaign. Trump, you'll remember, said it was time for America to act on its own behalf for once internationally and to avoid pointless and counterproductive wars. Are those Dina Powell's views? They are not. Before joining the Trump administration, she was a partner at Goldman Sachs. She was president of the Goldman Sachs Foundation. That's the nonprofit arm of the investment bank. While there, she worked extensively with another fa famous foundation, the Clinton Foundation, and they worked together on various goals that most Trump voters would find repugnant. At a Clinton Global Initiative event, for example, Powell shared the stage with Bill Clinton. They discussed how to meet, quote, global challenges with, quote, corporate solutions. Powell is a close friend with Obama consigliere Valerie Jarrett, as well as with left-wing buffoon Ariana Huffington. It's not guilt by association, but you should know that. President Trump is fighting to restrict immigration from dangerous countries, but while working for the Bush administration, Powell boasted that 90% of student visas were being granted within a week, even for students from countries that hate the United States. She also once said that a major flaw in American diplomacy to the Islamic world is that we talk too much and we need to, quote, listen more. It doesn't make her a bad person. It does make her exactly the sort of person George W. Bush might appoint as UN ambassador. And in this context, that's not a compliment. Maybe she'll get the job anyway, you never know. The confirmation hearings ought to be interesting if she does, because we'll get to hear a lot more in much greater detail about how Goldman Sachs actually works. And that'll be an education. We'll keep you posted.